Hey guys! So today we're going to be creating the Iron Spider-Man from the comic books. And the Iron Spider-Man is going to show up in the Infinity War movie as well. And I'm so excited. I even bought the glove. The gauntlet. Wow, it's so fancy. There's icing on it already. <laughs> I'm really excited about this movie, so let's get started. Look, it's so hard to get red food coloring off of your hands. And there's also pink food coloring here, but I'll put some makeup on so you can't see it. <laughs> now, I love Spider-Man. I love Peter Parker, Miles Morales, Spidey Gwen, Silk. I'm curious about how they're gonna upgrade the Iron Spidey outfit in Infinity War. Now, the Iron Spider-Man outfit in Infinity War is very close to the Spider-Man that I already created on this channel. Look at him, he's such a cutie. This guy is such a cutie. So I decided that I was gonna adapt the Iron Spider-Man from the comic book. I love this suit, it's so sleek, and in this style it looks so adorable. And make sure you stick around to the end of this video because I'm going to be doing a giveaway, what? I'm giving away a package of these awesome unicorn cupcake wrappers. Aren't they so precious? They're so easy to use, you guys. Now let's get started on this cake. Let's create this cake. The first thing I'm gonna do is put on my five-year-old drawing cap and draw a picture of this Spider-Man. So I took a marker and started out with his head and then I created all of his features. Now this suit is really sleek so I didn't really give any definition to the muscles. It almost seems like a lot of just color blocking with the red and the gold. I bought a box of crayons and I wanted to use them because I wanted to color this. It's been probably like 10-15 years since I've colored something. <laughs> I'm not that good at coloring. I didn't even stay within the lines. <laughs> Let's create this cake. I'm recycling the footage from <laughs> my red velvet cake. <laughs> I didn't want to shoot this part over again, so I'm reusing what I already shot. I was trying to save time, you guys, and I also just... I just wanted to be upfront about it. I took my cake, placed my generic figure printout, um, and then I just cut it out using my sidekick. Hold away the excess, take off the printout, then I cut my cake in half with a cake leveler. I'm gonna place my cake onto my cake board, and then I just filled it with some buttercream and, and smoothened it out with my offset spatula. How up to date are you guys on reading your Spider-Man comics? Are you up to date at all? I only know the comic book characters because I bought all the Spider-Man toys, but I haven't actually read any comics in a while. The last comic books I read were during the Civil War comic book event, and that was like 2006. And using my paring knife, I started to carve away at my cake, turning it into a dome shape and then making sure that there's definition in between each of Spider-Man's limbs. Now in the Civil War storyline, Spider-Man is integral to the story. It, did I use that word properly? When Now in the Civil War storyline, Spider-Man reveals himself to be Peter Parker. And it's like this whole thing, there's a press conference, Iron Man is there. And the reason he reveals himself is because of the Superhero Registration Act. He sides with Tony Stark, which means that there are no like secret identities anymore. You're sort of like an official uh, officer of the law, I guess. I'm um, sorry if I spoiled that for you. That comic book came out in like 2006, so you had plenty of time to read it, you know? It's what, 2017, 18, 16? I don't know, it all gets kind of hazy. If you haven't read it yet, go purchase it. I won't spoil anymore. And also, everybody dies at the end of it. Now, after I finished rounding out my cake, I placed on a crumb coat. This cake is really small and the crumbs kind of get everywhere, so this crumb coat ensures that all of the crumbs stay on this layer of cake. Can you tell that I'm sweating like crazy? The summer is beginning, you guys. It's LA. Summer, I, it ends for like two months and then it's summer all year round again. I added a second layer of buttercream. It's a fix-it coat of buttercream. It's cheaper than a final coat of buttercream because you don't have to put that much. And this coat fixes all of the places where I carved away too much or where I didn't emphasize his limbs enough. So this cake will look bomb when I cover it. I'm gonna cover my entire cake with a large piece of red fondant. And I'm actually using a new fondant for this because they sent me fondant. Uh, it's Fantasia. They sent it to me for free and it's made in Los Angeles. 
I live in Los Angeles. <laughs> now I'm just pushing it down with my hands and then I'm just working it all the way down to the bottom of the cake. And using some sculpting tools, I'm gonna make sure that I'm pushing the fondant into the armpits of Spider-Man and making sure that there's a separation between his face and his body. You guys have seen this before. You guys have seen this so many times. I made so many of these cakes. Let's review them, shall we? The Black Panther. Oh, look at that cake. And this one looks nice too. Oh, and there's three. On In this video, there's three. And there's five for the Justice League. What? He's making a lot of cakes, this guy. If you want to see an entire playlist of my bay cakes, there is a link for you in the description box also at the end of the video. And also here, if I remember to do it, otherwise I'm pointing at nothing. All of these cakes are so cute and like kawaii. Does kawaii mean cute in Japanese? Does it? I don't know, it's all pretty hazy. I'm just gonna cut away the excess with my sidekick Perrin. Now, if he needs a name, you guys. Um, I was thinking about calling him Knifey, like Wifey. Do you guys remember that song? Will you be my wifey? Yes, I'll be your wife. It's like Jagged Edge or like 112, I think. I don't know, it gets all pretty hazy sometimes. So I was thinking Knifey, but with your track record, I think that you guys could come up with a way better name. So let me know in the comments what you want to name my knife. And I cut out all of my yellow Spider-Man details in some yellow, brown, mustard, yellow, brown, mustard fondant. <laughs> Midsummer gold, I'm thinking. I'm thinking yes. Shotan yas. You know it hit me like two days ago that I'm gonna be a grandpa that says yas one day. How weird is that? Now with all of my yellow mustard brown mustard summer midsummer's gold mustard yellow brown fondant, the first thing I did was I coated each of my pieces with some magic sauce. If you don't know what magic sauce is, there's a video for you in the description box. After I brushed magic sauce onto all of my pieces, I took a dry paintbrush and just brushed on some gold luster dust. I find this easier to coat all of my pieces. I also have the least amount of gold luster dust coming off when I do it this way. Now very carefully, very, 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 very carefully, place all my gold pieces onto my Spider-Man. I just added a little bit of magic sauce behind each piece so that they would stick. You see the gold doesn't rub off at all. And you really don't want it to because you want this to be as sleek and as like crisp as possible. If it wasn't, I would have thrown this cake out and then started all over again. If you want to recreate this Iron Spider-Man, I put my picture on the Facebook page. So make sure you head over to my Facebook page and give me a like and see the wasteland that is the Kuali Pops Facebook page. I should be so much more active on the Facebook page or on Twitter or like Pinterest and like all of this. It's just social media, it just like, it gets kind of hazy. And you know with other characters, I usually add more fondant to emphasize like the chest and like the arms. Um, but I wanted to keep this super simple so that it just looked like Oh my gosh, like Spanx or like Spandex, you know? Now in the comic books, the Iron Spider-Man has three extra spider legs. Why three? I don't know. And I decided to put on two of the legs, but I wasn't sure where to put the third leg, so I left it out. So that's what she's, because I thought it'd be too short to go over his head and too short to go under. But when I was taking pictures, Yo, it looked pretty good underneath. That's what she's- And voila, my Iron Spider-Man is complete. This looks so fantastic and sleek. It's so cool and I'm curious to see what this looks like in the Infinity War movie. Cause they haven't shown us the extra legs that they're gonna give Spider-Man yet. And I know that from the toys, he's gonna have four extra Spidey legs, so. It's just gonna be sick. And make sure you turn your notifications on so you can see everything I'm currently working on in the community tab and you can be notified when a new bay cake comes out later this week. Now for the giveaway. Now I'm giving away a package of these awesome, very unique unicorn wrappers and toppers. Each package comes in 12. So 12 wrappers, 12 toppers. And they're like super easy to use, you guys. You just put them together, drop your cupcake inside, add some frosting on top, and then place on the topper, and voila, 
Look at that, Just, they're adorable. And they're reversible, so you can choose any of these unicorn ones, or you can turn them over and get their rainbow. It's like good for a birthday party, or like a baby shower, and I think that these would do so well at like a bake sale. All the other moms will be super jealous, and you spent five minutes on this. You don't even have to bake the cupcakes if you don't want. You just go to the grocery store, buy those cupcakes, drop them in, add the topper, and I won't even tell anyone. I'm good with secrets, you guys. My cousin told me she hasn't eaten a vegetable for like seven years, and I didn't tell anybody. That's how good I am. Just make sure you comment the last black unicorn in the comment section, and I will choose one of those comments and send you a package of these awesome unicorns. I'm reading The Last Black Unicorn by Tiffany Haddish, and I like it. These are unicorns, so I thought it was like perfect. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. I love you. I will see you very soon. Peace!